Thank you, Madam Chair. And here we are again. We've had this same hearing in February. We noted the crisis on the southern border being fueled by loopholes in our immigration laws. Uh, Border Patrol Chief Provost testified legislative changes were needed to get the situation under control. In fact, we've heard that over and over and over and over again. But the crisis has gotten worse. In February, the Border Patrol apprehended 66,000 individuals. That number had been, was, had been above, has been above 92,000 every month since, peaking at over 132 apprehensions in May alone. You know, just last week, I was horrified and deeply affected when Secretary McLean told me that on, there are three ongoing cases where a small group of children, five to eight, in each case have been used by dozens of different adults to cross our border seeking release in the U.S. And my colleague's claim is we care. Look, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to read this. This all, my, you, know, what, you know what is dehumanizing? It's continuing to bring the same witnesses or the same people from the same agencies to talk about this over and over and over again. What's dehumanizing is doing that and not doing anything about it. That's what's dehumanizing. It's talking about a problem, talking about a problem, talking about a problem, and never putting a solution up. I've talked about this almost at every one of these so far, especially in the last few weeks. And look, my Democratic colleagues have ideas. I may disagree with those ideas, but put a bill up. I have a bill, put mine up. Make amendments to it. Do whatever you want to do. That's what Congress is supposed to do. Dehumanizing is this. This is dehumanizing. And also, what a competent and capable majority would do is actually put a bill forward. Instead, we're not a competent and capable majority, undoubtedly using the words of the ranking member of the subcommittee. We're not capable and competent because we're not putting bills forward. We're having bash the president time, bash the administration time. This is all it was. It's all this is. I appreciate you being here to testify. Some of you have been here before. Some of you are replacing the ones who had already testified before. Mr. White, you're back again. Good to see you. This is what bothers me. I can read another opening statement. We can ask questions, and we'll all go through this, and we can talk about how the, cap the Trump administration is um, not competent, not capable. I think that just falls back on us. It falls back on this committee. Why has the majority not put a bill forward? We've heard that it doesn't work. We've heard from both administrations, the Obama administration and the Trump administration, that laws need to be fixed and worked on. But well, we don't do it. We put together last, this week, we passed on the floor, we passed out of this committee, a bill that was a Band-Aid to fix a little bit of problem which everybody ought to be treated humanely and as best they can at the border, and we need to have that. That needs to happen. We, that, is that, but we just did it in such a way yesterday that it just applied to everybody and, again, applied to nobody in, in a sense. So as we look at this, as we go forward, you know, Madam Chair, I agree with you. You and I have worked on big things before. But what is dehumanizing is this hearing. What is dehumanizing is this hearing where we're going to talk about it again. And people come, and the folks in this audience, I'm glad you're here. We're trying to work on a problem. But don't accept another hearing. Accept some answers. Accept some bills being put forward. Don't be fooled again. If you want to take part in a political positioning paper, then that's what we're doing today. Because we've already heard, there's not a, no offense to our witnesses, we've heard your statements already before. So I don't know what's going to move us this time that didn't move us last time. This is becoming, unfortunately, a committee of press releases. That's it. Dehumanizing is taking people you say you care about but doing nothing for them. That's dehumanizing. Competent and capable? The last time I understood, Congress should pass legislation. I'll be very slow. Pass bills that matter. Don't have hearings that are simply stunts. I think about these kids being used. I think about these, the issue with the Flores Agreement, with the trafficking victims issue, with the asylum issue. Things that have been talked about by multiple administrations. And even under us, even under the, the previous Congress, I'll go ahead and say it before anybody else does, Republicans didn't do anything. You know what was really funny? When they had a chance this year to work on the Dreamer bill, the majority leader went to the floor and said, we could have worked on this. Last year we were one signature away from passing a Dreamer bill, getting it off the table and passing it. Then why didn't you bring that bill back to the floor? 
There was one vote, you had one signature away, now you're in the majority. You should have been able to pass it and probably would have passed it with 40 or 50 votes. No, but I'll tell everybody watching, you know the reason you didn't? Because we didn't have it political enough. The Dreamer bill, we had to add in everything else. Not that it could get passed, not that we could help the Dreamers, not that we could help the DACA recipients. We wanted a political stunt, and if it wasn't, then I challenge you, go ask the majority leader why he didn't bring back the bill from last year. I'll tell you why. It's because it was something that would pass, but didn't have everything else political on there. So, Madam Chair, I appreciate it. I couldn't read the rest of this. I, I mean, this is, this is dehumanizing. This is showing a, a non-competent, non-capable majority. It's showing a, co a Congress that is willing to listen to problems and not act on problems. So, here we go. Popcorn machine's ready. If anybody wants some, send the office over here. The show begins. I yield back.